Hi everyone and welcome. Um, so we're going to be spending a short time here today. We just want to share something very, very brief. You know, I've had the um, young people, young believers like us, you know, who reach out to us and say, ah, sir, I'm struggling with my prayer life. I'm struggling. Um, how, what do I do to, you know, instigate my prayer life, to fight up, you know? And so I thought we should just share one of the things that would just help you to, you know, um, stir up that, that strong passion again. Do you understand? So I thought to bring an amazing young man here and who I honor so much and I really value so much. His name is Ebuka Songs. So thank Ebuka, so thanks for coming. Thank you so much, sir. I'm really privileged and honored to be thank here. Thank you so much for coming. Thank and um, It's such an honor to have you. And so we'll be sharing about prayer. Um, before we came up on, before the video started, we were talking about prayer. We were discussing about um, our perspective about prayer. Yes, sir. You know, and what we think prayer is and how important it is yet yes, and how to go about prayer. Yes, so first of all, let me ask, let's just go straight to the point. Okay, sir. If someone is struggling with his or her prayer life, what do you think are the strategies? What should the person do and what can be done? You know, because I know you have a strong prayer life. And so that's why I'm asking you this question. What can the person do? Thank you so much sir, for the privilege once again. I'm really honored to be and share your platform. So straight to the point, um, somebody is struggling with his prayer life and the person is confused and the person is worried. The person wants to know what to do. So the first thing I will say is, if you want to know how to pray, is to pray. Hmm. Every man that wants to pray has to pray. Hmm. So if you are struggling with your prayer life, it's, it's, it can be known that you have not prayed enough. Wow. So you can, you can trace your life to the point that you are weak in prayers. Okay. Your prayer strength is weak. You don't have the praying spirit. So you are struggling to pray by yourself. Mm. So that's where struggle comes in prayer. Okay. You can't pray by yourself. No man can pray by himself. By himself. That's why we need the Holy Spirit. Mm. So the first question to ask that person is, do you really have the Holy Spirit in you first of all? Okay. So there was a place in the Bible where, where Peter was invited to a particular city to minister to the people. Mm. And then the people who invited him, he, he got there and and then he, he, he could sense that these ones are weak themselves. Okay. Okay. They only know about Jesus, but they don't know the Holy Spirit. Okay. So he, the question Peter asked them was, do you have the Holy Spirit? And they were like, we don't even know what, what that is. Mm. So this is what a lot of believers are going through today. Okay. They know Jesus. They've heard about Jesus. They want to live the life of Jesus. But they've forgotten that they cannot do all of this without, without the help the Holy of the Spirit. Holy Spirit. Wow. So that's why they have struggle. So the Holy Spirit is first the foundation of prayer. Wow. The Holy Spirit is first this, the rock of prayer. Okay. So if you must pray, if you must have a prayer life, it has to be built on the Holy Spirit. Especially on, in these end times. So. Especially in these times that we have. Because yeah. if you are... The there are a lot of people that they, they can they have all the energy, they have all the strength, but when it comes to praying, they are weak. Okay. Many many find themselves sleeping. Even with when there's so much noise and in the church, you see some people they, they sleep every time in the church. It's because they don't really have the Holy Spirit. The Bible says, build up your in, 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 in the book of Jude, chapter one, chapter one, verse 20. Yeah. It said, Build up your most, most holy, holy faith, faith. praying yeah. in the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Pray in the Holy Ghost. So it is the Holy Spirit that helps you to pray. But if you have to build your most holy faith, you have to pray in the Holy Ghost. Okay. So you can't pray in the Holy Ghost if you don't have the Holy Spirit wow. in you. So the first thing you need to do to come out of that struggle is to have the Holy Spirit. Wow, amazing. It's to seek for the Holy Spirit. Amazing, that's beautiful. The impact of the Holy Spirit you need. And that's why the Bible says in the book of Acts chapter 2, it said they were all gathered in one accord. Mm. They were waiting. Jesus told them to wait. Mm. He said, and the Holy Ghost came upon them and they yeah. spoke in new tongues, new cloven tongues, tongues of fire. Yeah. So from that day, their life changed. They were living the normal life. Right. But from that day, their life changed. Wow. So, for those who have the Holy Ghost okay. and still cannot pray, what, are they, what can they do? Before we started the video, you yeah. were talking to me and you said that um, for one to pray, you have to put people around you yeah. who, who inspire you to pray. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. And I would add to that messages, you know, songs that will inspire yeah. you to yeah. pray. But most importantly, just have the desire to pray. Yeah. Because if you say, I will pray and pray and pray, the devil will just put up things that will distract you. You know, but so you have to deliberately want to pray. I need to pray. So what 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 for those who are really struggling, I will have this struggle, the very, very strong struggle. What can they do yes, sir. to consistently build a life of prayer? Yes, sir. So for those of us that have the Holy Spirit in us and we have struggles in prayer, mm. 
one of the first things to do is to associate yourself with people that praise, mm. that, that has the strength of prayer by privilege. Okay. So I was making an illustration. I was saying that if you carry a coal, a, a bunch of charcoal, okay. when it's lighted up, they are all burning together, yeah. all of them. But if you remove one, one of, of the those, coal okay. and put it away, even without pouring water on it, mm. it goes up by yeah, itself. By give time, it time, by time. Okay. It will, okay. At the point where you just bring it, I still having that fire. Just, just so, give it time. Yeah, so that's go. how we look like with the Holy Ghost. We are we are fired up with the Holy Ghost. But when we associate ourselves away from people that praise, not just people now, things that helps our the, prayer life, spiritual okay. songs, okay. studying the Word of God. Okay. The moment we remove ourselves from those things, our our prayer life begin to quench okay. gradually, gradually. Not just our prayer life, our spiritual life. Okay. But when we, when you put that coal back into that fire, even without putting, putting a fire, putting a fire on okay. it, it okay. will catch up again. Gradually, gradually, mm -hmm. it will Gradually. catch up again because when you mix it with the other ones, yeah. it catch up again. So yeah. that's how we look like. So if you must pray, if you have been having this struggle to pray, join with people that have the strength. Okay. You notice that when you're going after these people, you're putting yourself with these people. All of a sudden, you you you, you can draw from it. You, you just notice that your prayer life. If you can pray the 20 minutes, yes. Yeah. If you used to pray 20 minutes, you increase to 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. If you can pray 30 minutes, you increase to one hour. Right. You just notice that your life, listen to spiritual songs. Mm -hmm. That's secondly. You don't just listen to any other songs. Mm -hmm. There are songs that will build your emotions. Yeah. There are songs that will build your prayer life. Mm -hmm. So you need to go after, that is what you need at that time. You want your prayer life to grow. You've been weak. So you need to search after spiritual songs. So, so that means it's expedient to mix. Um, you know, there are a lot of amazing gospel songs out there. Yeah. And so most, like you said, the ones that will inspire you to yes, pray. Yes, to get. pray. So you, we're not saying don't listen to any kind of music. Yes. Listen to gospel songs, but mix, have a mixture. At that time, have yeah, the one that makes yeah, you pray. that makes you pray, that, that helps that you to that, pray. Yes. That's what you need at that time. Okay. So many people, they go after other things. Yes. Okay, so yes. um, from your point, you're saying if one must know how to pray, he must or she must um, be around people who know how to pray. pray. You get um, materials, environment that will instigate, the Bible, inspire them to pray, the yes. Bible and all that. Yes. That's beautiful. That's yes. amazing. All right. So, um, what kills prayer life? What, 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 what can you say? Um, if someone says, my prayer life is dying, what do you think is the cause? One of the things that kills the prayer life of a man is taking yourself away from the things that has helped you pray before. Okay. That has been helping you be, for example, you used to study the Bible before and all of a sudden you stop. Mm. You become too busy. Mm. Activity is not spirituality. Okay. A lot of people become too busy and they think they have so much activity to do in the Christendom mm. and they forget the spiritual aspect, aspect of their life. Aspect, yes. Yeah. So you used to study the Bible morning, afternoon, night. According to, to the Bible, the Bible says, study the word, thou shalt meditate during day and night, mm. and thou mayest observe good success. So this is what has helped you to build. And all of a sudden, you now become too busy, you, you, you don't study as mm. usual. You will notice that something will definitely change. It mm. cannot be as it used to be. Okay. So you need to go back to how you started. You need to stretch back to the foundation, how you built before, how you used to be. Mm. So with this exposing yourself to things that don't matter, movies, Imagine you're supposed to be praying and you're watching movies, you're supposed to be praying, you're pressing your phone. A lot of people wake up in the morning and the first thing they pick up is WhatsApp, Facebook, Instagram. They've not even seen the face of God. Now, the balance to this is this. Not that these things are bad. You're yeah. not saying they're bad or movies are bad, but yeah. you know there are some kind of movies you shouldn't be watching. Shouldn't be watching. Especially, you know yourself. Yes. You know some things that yeah, you can't, your spirit can't it's carry. It's not profitable yeah, to your spirit, man. It's not profitable to your spirit, man. Because yeah. It's not the first time I watched it once. I watched it twice. No, when you continually do this thing, this it causes a decadence to your spiritual life. All right. So he was talking about the fact that most times people wake up and just pick up their phones and start doing stuff. You know, for the business moguls, they have this excuse that I have to attend to business. Business. But there's no greater business than the business of Jesus. Never kingdom business. kingdom business. So yes. most importantly, as you wake up, and what is expedient? Because most times you fall short of these things. What is expedient? You need to discipline yourself. Is even just say a word of prayer. Just say something to God. Talk to Jesus. The Lord's prayer. Because in relationship, I'm yeah. not saying you should shout or I'm killing but No. Yeah. Talk to Jesus. The Lord's prayer is there. Yes. It's very simple. Say something to Father. Yes. You the book of point. Matthew chapter 6. Yes. So, in book of Matthew chapter 6, you can see there. So, it's important we build these um, structures around us. It's important that when you wake up, like you said, yeah. Pick up the Bible. If you can't pick up the Bible yet, say something to Jesus. Yes. Pray. Because most people say they are very busy. So they so rush up out there. Yeah. They rush out. Which is, very, very, which is very true. Most people are very busy. Very but busy, yeah. Make sure you communicate to your father. Before you do any other thing that you seem that is important, five minutes, 10 minutes, 30 minutes, one hour, just take out time and talk to Jesus. Talk to God. Do you understand? You don't need to shout. You don't need to be very passionate. 
You don't need to show. It's not in the dexterity uh, of the voice. It's not in the dexterity of a voice or the volumes, which is very important sometimes too. But to bring the balance to it is you can also calmly talk to Jesus. He's your father, your relationship. Just like in the morning when you wake up, you can't just, maybe you and your wife wake up and you look at your wife and start shouting. <laughs> Only I love you. Only I love you. No, no, no. <laughs> you, can't, you can't begin with that kind of tone. Mm-hmm. Especially because it's the morning, you can't just start shouting. So it's important. Yeah. When you have a relationship with Jesus, you understand the parameters and the strategies to talk to him. Yes. You know that it's not every time you shout. Yes. It's not every time you are calm. So yes. there are different patterns, different methods of talking to Jesus. Yes. Do you understand? Most, yes. so most times, um, there's this thing about our society. Okay. Most times people think it's only when you shout or okay. when you are loud, that's when you pray. And that's when he can hear you. And, and that's when God can hear you. Mm-hmm. God can hear your whispers. Yes. He can even hear your intentions. In your heart. So your intentions are not even as loud as your voice. <laughs> but he still hears it. So it's an experience. Ah. In all these things, we must make sure we are communicating. Do yes. you understand my point? Yes. So, um, um, it's, it's a lot. It's just a lot. And we just need to just um, find this understanding and build it around our Christianity because it's going to cause a healthy, it's going to help us to be better yes. get and advance our Christendom and all that. So, so we talked about the fact that if your prayer life is going down, find materials, find things. I also will add, um, get a timetable. You get yeah. morning, afternoon, night, night. also. Just find a timetable in every day. You know, put up a timetable where you can pray, where you can study. Yeah. You get just keep on doing it. Consistency is a very strong attribute. Do you understand that point? Yeah. I, I keep telling people, I said money cannot uh, consistency will buy you what money can't buy you. Yes. Consistency yes. will buy you what money can buy yes, you. Sir. It's, it's yes, something sir. you need to continue inculcate because most people have this um spirit of procrastination. It's a very big, strong spirit. Yes, sir. Especially among believers, among um, young people, you know. Yes, sir. So you need to be seriously um drawn to what you want to do seriously drawn to the interest of building your spiritual life it's expedient in fact it's a matter of urgency Kai. do you understand my point yes so if it's a matter of urgency just like you want to because i go there are some homes when you go into some homes you see that they have timetable for food for eating yes morning bread tea and all that yes rice and so that's how it is with our spiritual life you can also have, have a timetable time yes all right, it's not carnality. It's not, it's you're not, not trying to be carnal. Yes. You understand? Yes. Have a timetable. Have people around you who inspire you. Nobody Follow knows. people who will instigate your prayer life. Who will yes. push you into to a burning desire to pray. You understand? You know yourself and you know what inspires you. Know you know what you need. You know what you need. At that time. You know, so it's not... Um, yeah. Because I hear most times people say um, you you have, you have so, so, so amount of thousands of followers mm-hmm. and you follow three people, you follow five people, you have follow hundred people. Is that not pride? It's not pride. It's not pride. Because to me, I feel who I follow matters a lot. It's, it's you what you are. People what can trace you, yes. what you can become Tempty from the people from, you follow. Do you understand my point? So yes. it's expedient. We need to know who you are. Yes. And how we can know who you are is who you follow. Yes. I'm not saying people don't have amazing gifts. Yes. I don't do. say they are not blessing the world. I know I'm not saying they are not blessings, but what do you need as a person? What will profit you as a believer? Exactly. What do you need? Because you need to, the Bible says, you guard our eyes, guard our ears. You know, guard your hearts with all the things, out of it are the issues of life. Kai. How do you guard your heart without guarding your eyes? Kai. How do you guard your heart without guarding what you hear? Kai. So you need to understand these fundamentals. If you don't understand them, you have issues. Kai. So Serious it's issues. not everybody you follow, it's not everybody you um, um, have relationships with. Yes. It's not, relationship not everybody is a, you make your friend. Relationship is a beautiful thing, it's a gift from God, but it's not everybody. Body. It's not everything that is good that is good for you. Yes. <laughs> Kai. It's not everything that is good that Kai. is what, good, good for, for you. you. Yes. So you need to find what works yes. for you, what suits you, what inspires you, what stirs you on. What is profitable to your What spirit is profitable man. to your spirit man? Because yes. it's your spirit man that gives you relevance. Yes. Not your physicality, not yes. the billboards, not anything yes. that gives you. It's your spirit man. It's the fervency of your spirit man yes. that gives you relevance. So yes. most times too, when I'm very busy, you know, when in quote I want to be carried because most times I'm not I'm not talking because I'm perfect. Most times when we are tempted to want to get carried away by things, you have to call yourself to order. Say, have I studied today? How many scriptures have I studied today? How many messages have I listened to today? How many times have I prayed to God? Do you understand my point? Yes. So most times you need to you have the responsibility of calling yourself to order. order. And by the help of the Holy Spirit, because you can't do it by your strength. You yes. have the responsibility of calling yourself to order. You have the responsibility to pray. Don't ignore. Do you understand my point? Pray like he was talking about before we came, uh, we started, we, before we started doing the video, he was yeah. talking about time frame. Yes. I'm not a fan of time frame because I, I feel like I can pray as long as I want. Yes. But 
for a believer or for someone who is trying to build up that prayer life, yes. who is trying to build up that spiritual life, yes. what you can do is set up time frames that can enable you um, to pray. So yes, to pray and you do not you, yourself you, inside. Yes, you tend to not know maybe your growth level yes, and everything. Your growth level. You can a time will come, you will not need time anymore. Yes. You understand? You are not and, even looking at the time. At the time will come, you don't look at but for the for the um, elementary times, yes, all those fundamental that, times, that you, need to you can grow. start using time to cultivate that habit Monitor, of prayer. Yes. Yes, but a time will come when you don't even need it. Yes. Because you know, I feel it's a distraction. For it's a to be, distraction. Because I, most times I feel how many times... It how, begins to... You that, that now can you, pray you three hours now, yes. it begins to, you begin to brag about yes, it. Yes, That's yes, where yes. pride can come yes, in Yes, yes. So it's, I feel it's a distraction because, like you said, pride comes in when you start thinking you can pray three, three hours, hours, four hours, five hours. I know hours. that's pray just one yeah, hour. The most important thing, my, my brother, my sister, is having a relationship with Jesus and praying for as long as praying for 30 hours, 20 hours. But most importantly, make sure you are contacting something in that realm. Because most times we are praying for three hours, sir. Nothing. And check very well. It's only one, one hour you prayed. Kai. You think you pray for three hours. Yeah. But one hour, that's when you, you, you hit the intentions of yes. Jesus. It's only you one hour. two hours for just your flesh. John, it's just your flesh. So you yes. need to understand that um, having a time frame is good. Especially if, because you want to build... Um, the, you want to have a structure for your prayer life. It's, yes. You're trying to build yourself. Do you yes, understand? Sir. Yes. Sir. So you're having a a time frame, a thermometer that helps you yes, sir. approach what you are doing. But it, it, we shouldn't build our Christianity around that, around yes. time frame. Time frame is not what God has called us to do. To... Pray without season. That means yes. any time. If, I pray every moment, every, every minute, every every minute, every, every second. It, it might be that I don't have time to stay at a place. I pray for hours. But most times. When you are doing what you are doing, yeah. you need to understand to have that, you know, get that ideology, that realization that you have to be praying. Yes. And praying does not mean you have to be shouting every time. Kai. Do you understand my point? Sometimes you have to just take out time to whisper to your father. It's a relationship, affecting the relationship. Mm -hmm. Same thing. So when you don't have that relationship in prayer, when you don't have that, sorry, that prayer power, it is because you don't have a fervent and a healthy relationship with the Holy Spirit. If you have a relationship with the Holy Spirit, it won't take you anything to pray. Understand this. Yes. So most importantly, what you should be after is building your relationship with the Holy Spirit more than anything. Kai. All right. Kai. I was saying the other day when I was having an interview, I was telling somebody, I said, most people pray and fast when they have programs, <laughs> but which is not good. Not because good. God wants a lifetime of relationship. He wants a lifetime of koinonia. Mm. He wants a lifetime of you no, know, we spending time intimacy. in his presence, intimacy. Do you yes. understand? So a, a lot of times people do that. That is called have big relationship. So you just do it because you want to be fired up for the program, Kai. not for ministry. You want, you want so if you want to be way. prepared for ministry and life, Kai. always pray, always study. I know your excuse is you don't have time. I know your excuse is that you are choked up. You have a lot of things. You are busy at work, mm. but there is still in that work that you're doing. You can still be praying. Can still you can still pray. mutter in tongues. Yes, you sir. can still say something to Jesus. Yes, sir. He will hear you. Do you understand my point? You yes, don't sir. need to do anything very extravagant. God is a very simple God. Kai. And we have to follow him that way. Kai. So most times we make things very sophisticated and very difficult for us. And it's experience we understand what the role of the Holy Spirit is for us. You get, in this experience we understand what the role of the Holy Spirit is in our life. How that he wants us to have life easy. He wants us to have this relationship is by his help. Kai. Because without him, you can do nothing. Nothing. Do you understand my point? So it's expedient we do these things and understand these factors and put it into consideration. Hallelujah. Praise God. You want to add something else before? Yes, we sir. Um, that, that, that same thing, you know, we were discussing before yeah. we, we came on, on set. That same thing that you're trying to be, that you're trying to fake can be real. Yes, actually. You are trying to make people know you have a prayer life outside, but you don't have it inside. You can actually still have it prayer life inside yeah. as well. Mm -hmm. So what you need to do, the same way you are placing energy on your prayer life to fake it, okay. if you divert that same energy into <laughs> to make it real, oh. you will become real. Okay. So there's no point trying to make a, a prayer life outside and then you don't have a prayer life inside. Okay. Remember what the demons told um, these seven sons of, of Cephas when they were trying to cast out demons. Say, Peter, I know. Paul, I know. Jesus, I know. Who are you? Who are you? So. Don't wait till that day when you'll be when you'll be questioned outside. When you're when you're ministering somewhere and you're trying to command cancer, and cancer is questioning you. Jesus, I know. I obey the voice of Jesus. But who are you? Who are you? So you need to have that prayer life from within. They, even they know. That means you don't have a voice in the realm of the spirit. You, 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 you're not registered. You can't, you can't, they don't know you. 
They don't know if heavens and on earth, they don't know. He said, all authority in my name has been given in heaven and on earth. So for you to enter into that authority, you have to know the Jesus that has the authority so they can identify you with the authority. Wow. So that thing you're trying to fake outside can be real inside. So if you check the Bible very well, you see many people that try this thing, they failed. Until they had to come back. Even the disciples were trying yeah. to cast out, yeah. were trying to cast out a demon from a woman's daughter, and then they couldn't. Jesus came from the mountain, casted it once, and they asked Jesus, Why have we not? Why have we not? Why were you able to cast this? And Jesus told them, It's only by prayer and fasting. So you have to pray. Prayer is essential to build up your life. Prayer is essential. Prayer is essential, very, very, important. Important very important for you. Don't be too busy not to pray. And you need to understand there's a realization I want you to understand. I want you to understand that um, the world is not built to allow us to pray. Okay. But the world, the system of the world is very choked up. But it's very difficult for us to pray. Normally, the atmosphere, the happenstance, the news, everything, activities, around, yeah. everything. But for the responsibilities. <laughs> okay. But you need to understand the importance. Pray. When you understand the importance of prayer, that's when you can pray. When you understand the importance of praying, that's when you can pray. If you understand that the importance of prayer is that it can sustain you, it can keep you in ministry, it can help you, you know, it can help you pass through some temptations, some hurdles, some issues, Trials. then you understand the importance of prayer and you start praying. Do you understand? It's expedient. Please. Um, um, I know a lot of you are, because this is something that people have been asking me and I thought that we should touch on this. It's expedient that we conquer that life of prayer. Um, when you don't find yourself praying, try to pray. God, try to pray. You start praying and you're fervent and all of a sudden you go down, try again. Pray. You know, keep this, trying. This, is our, this is our work with Jesus. It's a, it's a work of trying. We keep trying. We keep trying until the final day. Do you understand my point? The Bible says the righteous will fall seven times and rise up again. So when you fall, you stand up again. If it's because one of the hindrances to prayer is you know, guilt and um, sin. Do you understand? And, but the Bible says, come boldly to the throne of grace, grace and obtain mercy. Do you understand? And grace to carry on. So, grace, so it's, it's expedient. It's expedient. I know most times we fall short of these things and you know we sin against God. And most times guilt want to you know trap yeah. us down and make us feel. It happens to all of us. Let me just tell you, we are not superhumans. Okay. We speak from a point of sincerity. Okay. You get and realness. We are not superhumans, but by God's help, most times we are able to. But by God's help, we conquer the situations because of the knowledge in Christ. And be the realization of what he has put in his word. Do you understand my point? So we're not saying um, you will not feel like praying. Or we are not saying that um, times will not come when you will not sleep at night. Or do some things that are against the principles of prayer. But in all these things, still find yourself praying. You get get up on your loins. You know, still pray. Try. You get find time out of the many activities. Sometimes off your phone. Sometimes off social media. Put off social media sometimes. You know, and just pray. Spend time in prayer. Spend time studying the word of God because that is what will sustain us in this end time. A lot is happening. The world so is getting darker. So Suffering is even more heightened. Kai. A lot of things are happening. Every hunger day. everywhere. Every day. Immorality is, is, is drastically taking up every sphere of our society. Kai. But you need to pray. This is the only safety. The only safety we have is in the place of prayer and the word of God. Kai. Do you understand? Do you understand my point? So we need to understand these things. And when we understand it, a lot of things will be handled. All right? We are not just speaking to you. We are just speaking to ourselves too. That it's expedient that we pray. Yes. It's expedient that we study the word of God. It's expedient that we take care of our spiritual life. It's, it's, it's expedient. It's important that we are keen about cultivating this life of prayer. Cultivating this word of God that we say we want to be studying yes. everything. Yes. It's expedient that we are focused on making sure that we are grooming something that will last the test of time. Yes. Yes. You're not grooming something that will make you go for programs and do this just and last this you for that time. And Two just weeks, for the three weeks. No, no, no. One week. Not three one, days. one year and you're not in you're internal. That's internal. We are doing, we are building something that is eternal. Yes. We are building something that will stand the test of time. We are building that something man. that will bring men from darkness into light. Marvelous light. Hallelujah. Do you understand? Yeah. So that's why we need to really, really focus on these aspects, focus on prayer. Focus on the word of God. Right? Pray without season. Time frame or no time frame, just keep praying. 
First of all, again, lastly, I want to say thank you for the privilege to be on this platform and an opportunity to share this. Yeah. Like we all know, I'm, 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 I'm still young as well. So whatever I'm saying is coming from a place that I've been there too. Okay. And I'm still there. Yeah. So I can tell to this thing. We have so many distractions in the world presently yeah. now that the Bible says, be not anxious for nothing, but by, by prayer, prayer and supplication, make your request be known unto mm -hmm. God. The people, the, a lot of people we have out there now are to carry the way with things of this world. And all all these things are because we've not been able to tame our flesh mm -hmm. and it's only by prayer can we can tame your flesh so the more you pray the more you tame your flesh wow. and your spirit man come alive mm -hmm. so your spirit man cannot come alive until the flesh is tamed mm -hmm. until, so you, you sang a song that says jesus has captured my heart mm -hmm. until that heart is captured you mm -hmm. can't do anything mm -hmm. your heart has to be arrested yes. put in the prison yes. of of prayer you understand where you can't go out. Not no situation is going to make you change your mind. Mm. No difficulty is going to make you change your mind. You have been captured. You are just there. Mm. You are just in there. They are bringing their oppressions. They will bring their house. They will bring their money. They will bring their fame. They will bring everything. But you are rooted. You are saying no. This is where I'm standing. Yeah. And it's only by prayer you can overcome these things. Lusts, addictions, only by prayer. Pray more. Like you said, guilt. The, the, the devil is the one who is tempting you, say, do this thing. And then he's still the one that is still the accuser. Mm. He still comes to accuse you, but only by prayer. Mm. Only by prayer. Relationship with the Father keeps you and will help you overcome this. When you feel like going down, when you feel like um, the whole prayer life, something is going down, when you feel like the world life is going down, run to this video again. Come back. If you don't run to this video, run to something that will instigate that fire again. Yes. It's expedient. Because as I'm talking to you, I'm talking to myself. Yes. Because... Um, we need to also be careful as, as we that are preachers and people yes. who dish out this word. We need to be careful because as you're saying these things, say it to yourself, say it to your spirit man. As I'm talking to someone else, I'm talking to myself. Don't because just preach and don't, don't just preach life. and yes, don't just preach what you are not doing. When they trace your life inside, it's So different. as we are saying these things, we are also saying it to, you know, ignite something in us. Yes. You know, we are Pastor saying it as a witness. Man. This is a witness. Now this video is a witness to us. So whatever happens, we go back to the video and watch Kaya. it. And we are fired up again to do what we have to do. Yes. This is experience. Let your fire be ever burning. Ever in the book burning. of Leviticus. Yes. Let the fire not go out. Hallelujah. Keep burning. Keep Hallelujah. burning. Hallelujah. And this word is to my fellow young music ministers like me out there. Mm. Don't think you have all the fire. If Minister G, he feels he has all the fire and then he has prayed today, he doesn't need to pray to the end of the year. He, will go for, he can choose to go for all the ministration and then God will still move. But that's not what Jesus is saying. He said, let the fire on your altar be ever burning. He said, keep blessing more fire. Keep putting the coal. Hallelujah. Keep putting the woods. Keep putting the stick. Don't let the fire go off because it's very risky. Mm. At that time, so many things can happen. Yeah. When the fire goes off, so many things. And, for you to and it will be hard again to, to put back. it back <laughs> to life. So you put in more effort. More, yes. You know, it's, it's, yes. It's, Every day. It's Every usually day. difficult. You know, it's usually difficult because I, I, I bet we have gone through that that time of coldness most yes. times. You know, yes. when many you know, times. Our, our spirit goes dry, but and we really, you know, the, the difficulty and the struggle to want to come back to God, that point is not easy. It's not easy at all. It's not easy. So, for you to avoid that, for you to prevent that, you have to keep praying. You have to stay fired and up. And all these things can cause you emotional trauma. Yes, actually. So many things. When you begin to see, watch your videos of those times, how you were ministering with so much fire, then you, are, you know yourself that something has gone down. Mm. So, it's always hard to catch back. So, it's better not to lose the fire, mm. not to lose your ground. Not to, upon this rock, I'll build my church. Hallelujah. And the gate of hell will not prevail. So, Hallelujah. stay on that rock. Don't leave the rock. Like the parable Jesus was telling disciples, yeah. if you want this um, the seed of the soil, when you are trying to sow a seed, there are some that will fall away. Mm. Jesus said, those ones that fall away, they, their roots will not be strong because mm. they don't have it. He said, but those ones that will go into the ground, mm. even if the, the wind blows, it will not blow it away. Yeah. If the storm comes, it will not blow it away. Let your life be like that one, mm. like the seed that is planted inside the soil mm. that has a strong root. Mm. So only prayer life can give you this, this thing. So mm. stay there. Don't leave. Don't think you have it all. Mm. God cannot run out of men, like you said. Mm -hmm. God can never run out of men. So when you feel you have too much, you just bring up somebody. Even he said it in his word. He said, I will raise stones. Mm -hmm. When you feel you are ready too much, I will raise stones. When you feel you are ready, your God, pata, 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 he brings another <laughs> person. One small, and God is amazing. He will not bring one big person to challenge you. He will just bring one small. So, somebody will just rise from somewhere. On assuming. On assuming. <laughs> it will be like a dream, but you are not dreaming. <laughs> kai, kai, kai. All right, so we, we are just here to inspire you to, you know, motivate you to, you know, inculcate that life of prayer, inculcate yeah. the, the habit of loving Jesus unashamedly, you understand? Um, like I said, you know, I'm a man of balance. 
there are times when we feel like giving up. There are times we feel like not praying. But the best way to overcome that is by praying. You know, and don't just pray anyhow. Or like pray with the word of God. Make sure the word of God is by your side. Make sure you are drowned and you are in the word of God. That is one of the things, one of your safeties. God. The word of God is our, one of our greatest safeties. Our greatest safety. Because with the word of God, we can't go wrong. God. Oh, is direction. The word is a lamp unto to our feet. feet and a light unto our path. Yes. Some say that. So when you have the word of God as a lamp on your feet yes. and a light on your path, you can never go wrong. No darkness. Do you understand? So this is we just coming here to inspire you and to propel you to greater things. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. So God bless you. Thank you for watching. Um, please share this with your friends. Share this um, to your family members, your neighbors. You know, People need to see, watch this video. People need to hear these truths. That will help them, that will help them passionately catch that fire again. Do you understand? God bless you. Wow. Thank you, Ebuka. I love you so much. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Um, so thank you for honoring our invitation. Thank you so much. I'm here. <laughs> thank you. Kai. Thank you. Kai. Thank God you so much. So much. So you. Find yourself praying. Put up your timetable. Put up your structure. Get materials around you that will help you pray. That will help you stay firmly fixed on what matters. Yes. Don't be distracted. At all. You know, um, Program is not the goal. Billboard is not the goal. Concert is Concert not the goal. Is not the goal. And yes. having awards, so, multiple awards, in as much as these things are good, this is yes. the balance. These things are good. They are very beautiful, but they are not the ultimate goal. Do you understand my point? So you don't lose your focus. You don't lose what has made you who you are. It's important you are wise. Kai. It's important, just like the wise virgins. Kai. You know, we're talking about five the, 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 wise, five, five yes, the ten virgins. Five were wise, five were what? Foolish. Foolish. The five were sleeping. Sleeping. It might not literally mean they were sleeping. It might just yes. mean that they stopped praying. They stopped yes. studying. Yes. They stopped taking the things of God serious. Yes. They started looking and focusing on frivolities and yes. they problems were not prepared. and things. They were not prepared. Of what. Yes. So it's important yes. that you, you are, your candle or your lamp is, is always lit. Yes. It's always on. Yes. Because you never know when responsibilities will come. You never know when you need to cast out a demon. You never know when God. the Father will come again. God. You never know when you have to be a witness to the believer in truth and in spirit. Because beyond just praying and fasting and praying and studying the Word of God, our life, whatever we do in God. prayer, whatever we do in, in studying the Word of God, whatever we do, in, we do in, in, in fasting, has to be shown in our life. To be revealed. It has to be revealed in our life. Yes. This is the end product. Yes. This is what transforms men. Kai. Beyond just studying the word of God. We see Kai. our life. Maranda I am the sound of revival. Maranda and the world is waiting for me to be heard. They want to see me oh, and be changed. Kondos, kondos, so we thank God for the prayers. Skin, we thank God for the fasting. Skin, we thank God for the word of God. Maranda, like we have shared today and the importance of them. But the end point of all these things is that our lives are transformed. Shada is that there is illumination in our life. Yes. People are seeing us fervently fixed in God. Yes. But beyond just that, they are seeing a man who has love. Kai. They are seeing a man who has forgiveness. Kai. They are seeing a man who loves the body of Christ. Don't be the they are seeing a man. No, 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 no. They are seeing a man who understands these things. Who is and kind. who is living it. Who is kind. Who has the fruits of who those gifts. gifts. <laughs> Not just the gifts. No. So most times we are carried away by the gifts. gifts. Carried away by the activities. Talents. This is the balance to what we have been saying here now. Yes. We are carried away by these talents and the activities and everything. The spiritual exercise which is Kai. beautiful. But there is a life to live. And this is the only way we can prove that we are ambassadors of Christ. <laughs> this is the only way we can prove that we carry Jesus. Mandala this is the only way we can prove that we are hosting the Holy Ghost. That we are a witness. Actually, that's the only way. And this is the only way. That's the only way. Right, so that these things we are doing, these spiritual exercises, are, are, are turned up into something beautiful, something great, something amazing. Kai. Hallelujah. And we are excited to share this. Like I said, I'm speaking to you. I'm speaking to myself. We are speaking to you. Speaking we are speaking to ourselves. 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 Alright, because this video is going to stand as a witness to help us, you know, go back to it again. So if, if time permits us, and I feel that in my spirit to share. I don't know. There's somebody out there that needs to hear this. You're you're in a family. You're the one who bonds in the family. Maybe you are just the one that that knows that loves Jesus, that loves to pray. And then when you want to pray, you feel ashamed. You feel shy. Have been there where everybody in the house don't have a prayer life. And, and sometimes they insult you. So. And they, they, they make jest of you. But this is the word of the Lord to you. Mm. He said, be not be ashamed of the gospel of Christ. Mm. If you have to lock yourself in a room, lock yourself and pray. Don't. There's not going to be any excuse. You will not have any excuse to say, it's because of my mommy. That's why I, don't, I didn't pray. It's because of my daddy. It's because of the Yesu laugh at me. No. 
I want you now to take up that boldness. Be bold as a lion, as Challenge your father you. is. Mm. Challenge yourself to be good. What I did those times that helped me was I would, I would go to the kitchen, leave them in the sitting room, go to the kitchen and spend 30 minutes to pray. If they come to the kitchen, I'll leave the kitchen, go to okay. the toilet, go to the restroom. <laughs> pray. I was always moving like that. See, one day I broke out in boldness and, I, and as they were in the sitting room, I was there. I just t- took a corner and I started speaking in tongues. And that was how that boldness came. Till today, now if I want to pray, they excuse me. <laughs> now they excuse me. So you, you, you can be like that too. Start to pray. Yeah. Be bold, be courageous, don't be afraid, don't be shy. Even, you know, we're, we're living in a world where uh, we are going back and forth on this. I'm Kai, so sorry. Kai, this video is getting there's on. so much. Yeah, so, you know, we're living in a world where, you know, bringing our friends, our associates, you know, they insult us, they mm-hmm. tell us, say, church boy, mm-hmm. a spirit coco. <laughs> if I'm not spirit coco, what else will I be? I don't know. What sustains people more in this world, right now in this world? In the spiritual realm. That's the spirit coco. So, is it that you're in for the world of darkness or you know, for light? So check very well. People who are doing well, it's either they are in light or they are in darkness. The spiritual realm is what controls this physical. Kaya. You know, in philosophy, I was studying, and you know, um, I'm a student of philosophy. So, and uh, we, we we learned, we talked about the, the word of form and the word of reality. Mm. The word of form is the word of ideas. Mm. You know, this is where all ideas are conceived. Do you understand my point? Yes. And the word of realities. So, what controls the word of realities? What com- controls the word of um, the, the physical, physical world, world is the spiritual world. Yes. What controls whatever we are doing now is the physical. Before the camera was invented, someone thought about it. Yes. It first existed in the world of form. Yes. It first existed in the world of ideas. Yes. So before anything, before this shirt, this what we are wearing was made, was Kai. created, was you know conceived. Kai. It first came Kai. from the world of ideas. Yes. So whatever you need to understand that the world of the spiritual, the spiritual realm controls the physical. physical. And the only way you can help them in the spiritual realm, the only way you can control the physical realm is by understanding the doings and the ways of the spirit. Yes. And that is by prayer and fasting and studying the word of God. Of Do you understand my point? The only Ashanda way you can, you know, um, you know, make headway in life, the only way you can do exploits in life is when you have controlled the word of spirit. Do you understand? And let me just tell you, it's not going to be easy. The devil is not going to let you because he knows the secret. He knows what you're trying to do. So, but you need to take up boldness. You need to be responsible for your spiritual life. Responsible. All right? Because this, right, this, you need to also understand that the race we are running is a personal race. Personal race. There's no excuse. No excuse. There's no excuse. All right? So, we want to take out this time to um, pray for those who want fresh fire on their altar. Yeah. You know, who are believing God for... A new fire you know, on the altar, and so Mr. Ebuka is going to pray for you Mandos, uh, briefly. Dear Heavenly Father, just place your hand on your chest where you are and close your eyes. Precious Father, I commit these ones onto your hands. Father, I thank you because they are growing spiritually. Their life is from glory to glory. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, mm. the fire of the Lord is quickening in their heart mm. and they will not quench. Mm. The fire on their altar will not go off. Mm. In the name of Jesus, mm. you will keep them burning. Mm. You will keep them to love you. You will keep their heart captured mm. in the mighty name of Jesus. Mm. Thank you, Father, for you own these ones. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father, for only you have rights to these ones Hallelujah. in the name of Jesus. Mm. And everyone struggling with addictions, lost, Father, in the name of Jesus, those lost and addictions, they die now. Amen. They quench away. Amen. They are pushed out of them. They are pushed out of their hearts in the mighty name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Thank you, Father, for in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. And thank, thank you so much. Please enjoy your day. Keep burning for Jesus. Keep living the life of Jesus. Keep spreading the word. Yeah. Please, okay? Yeah. Pray for your heart always. Pray for your heart. And also pray intercede. Don't just be praying for only yourself. Intercede. Beautiful. One of the ways you can spend more time in prayer is when you intercede. Yes. All right, people. God does not joke with intercessors. Yes. He loves them so much because He yeah. knows they are most. They are very selfless. Yes. And not as selfish as most people. <laughs> <laughs> only your needs. And it shouldn't be when you are praying for yourself when your voice gets louder. <laughs> when you are praying for people, when you are praying for the Kai. body of Christ, when you are praying for the nations, let your yeah. voice be loud. Too. Yes. Same passion. Kai. You understand? God bless you so much. Have an amazing day. This video is so long, but thank you for watching till the end. God bless you. God bless you. And I hope this inspired you and helped you. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Stay blessed.